All right, my mother is visiting from Montana. She just texted me, are you hungry? And the answer is yes, yes, I'm starving, but I have one more thing to do. We have to talk about graphing. And just like all the things, we probably could spend a bajillion years, but I'm gonna make it super simple. Are you ready? First, you need a title. But really, do you need a title? Because usually the titles feel um, very obvious and that that's okay. If somebody tells you you need a title, make an obvious title and that's awesome. A graph that we're gonna deal with, there's lots of different kinds, but the kind that we're gonna deal with is going to have an X axis, horizontal, and a Y axis, vertical, okay. So far, so good. Are you ready? You are going to plot. Every point that goes on the graph is going to have a number on the x-axis and a number on the y-axis. And that's how you determine where it goes on the graph. So if your x is whatever this is, let's just say it's 1, and your y is whatever this is, let's say it's 3, your point goes at an x of one and a y of three. Okay, that's easy. This is the part that's cool. 100% of the time, on the x axis goes your independent variable. Always put your independent variable on the x-axis, which means what do you suppose is going to go on the y-axis? Your dependent variable goes on the y-axis. Independent on the x, dependent on the y. Now, I'm going to throw down for whoever can help us remember that. How are we going to remember that that's how, like, what are your tricks to remember independent goes on X and dependent goes on Y? I can usually figure it out by looking at a graph, what they've done. Um, but I, I always have to look it up. I can't ever remember it. And so I need some tips and tricks from you for how we're going to remember that. Once we have our independent and dependent variables, questions you might ask are, what if you have more than one dependent variable? You took a lot of measurements, right? You have more than one graph. Sometimes you can post multiple dependent variables on one graph, but you have to be really clear about that because your dependent variable is likely going to have units, units of measure, because you measured something. So you have to define your units in on your graph and if you are dealing with multiple different units the graph can become confusing guess what we're going to have lots of opportunities to look at different graphs and interpret them and play with them so um, this is something that hopefully you get through this and you go okay i'm i'm good knowing that you're going to get to practice all of this stuff okay thanks for joining me on this adventure through the process of science. And now I'm going to go have lunch with my mother. Goodbye.